Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about views in SQL. Now, I'll start off with a query, which draws data from multiple tables. We have these fields that are displayed here, and uh, I have a certain uh, filter, which is in this case, I'm just filtering for uh, all the race results from uh, 2018. And I'm ordering the drivers and, and basically the data with this order. Now, I don't, I want to save that query i want to you know be able to easily call that query every time and i don't fancy like every time you know to write that whole query now how do i go about that well that's what views are for what a view is it just saves your query but what it does save it saves the definition of the query i.e this this stuff and not the data so what happens is that the database saves this definition and every time you call that view that query gets executed and then you get the data that's very important to remember that the view does not save the data the data is in the tables and what the view has the view just saves that sql and, and it executes uh, that sql every time you call that view and the way you create a view is very simple you just keep your query as is and then at the top you just write create view and then you input the view name let's call that results uh, 2018 and then as and that's it and now we have a view uh, we create a view called results 2018 and that view the underlying query for that view is this one here and every time you you call uh, the view that underlying query gets called and I can't do it here in this uh, editor, so let me just copy that and take it to the database and go to uh, SQL and uh, paste it in here and then execute. And you see the query is su uh, successfully done. Now, if I go back to my, if I go to my database structure, you see the view is here already. And if I browse the data, I can see that data in here. Now, that, that's one view and you can create an infinite number of views uh, of your data and uh, remember the views don't cost you anything because views you know they don't save the data they just save the you know the, 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 the SQL query or the definition and uh, obviously now this this uh, relates to the results of 2018 nothing's gonna change here but if I um, just change the name of my view to let's say 2020 and change the filter to 2020 which is you know like this year and do that now I've also created a second view now I have two views results 2018 and 2020 and the data here in 2020 that's gonna change so every time a new race is being uh, uh, input in the database that that view will also hold or will also update to to hold that new data that to that to that uh, most recent race so views do update once the tables are updated so we have here in that view we have these tables drivers um, uh, results constructors and races and once these are updated then uh, the, the, the data in the view is also automatically updated so the view is just like as if you're carrying out this query uh, every time you call the view it's just the, 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 the advantage of a view is you don't have to you know type in the query uh, the way you want to delete the view you just go and say drop view and then the name of the view results 2020 and uh, let me just take that stuff off and that would drop the view and now you see I don't have the 2020 view anymore and again as well as the data here you you just gonna see the results 20 uh, 2018. Right. Now, in some database, uh, let me just paste that code again that I have. In some uh, database applications like uh, SQL Server or Postgres or MySQL, you have a possibility to edit to edit your views. Basically, let's say, oh, you know what? I just remembered I don't want to have these three fields in my view. So, you know, I can delete them or comment them out. And I would like now to edit my view. I, you know, edit the definition of my view. How do I do that? Well, in, uh, in Postgres and, and, um, and uh, SQL Server or MySQL, you have this possibility to use create or 
um, then you either have replace. I think that applies, the word replace applies to MySQL and Postgres, whereas with SQL Server, you would have alter. So you can say create or alter view results 2020, and then you would have, uh, you would have, you could then create a new view. In, in SQLite, you don't have that. You don't have this feature. You only have create and drop. And so if you want to have a possibility to always delete or always edit your, um, your view, what you can do is like have drop at the top and then uh, right, right, right after it, you'd have then you create the view anew. So basically here, I'm just dropping the view now, the, the actual view, and then just creating a new view. And uh, this time, in, th in this case, without these three fields, and uh, let's try it out. Let me first of all, uh, because I dropped the view, let me first of all uh, create it uh, again. Uh, let me just take off these comments. And uh, I create the view. So the view is created. Now we have the view again. And now what I can do is comment this stuff out and just um, take off the points. And if I do that, you can see now I've, I've, I've just edited the view, I've deleted it and created it anew, and I have this view, and now you can see the view does not have the points. And um, if I just, uh, you know, take off the position and the grid, then, and just go and execute, then I would have um, just, just that. You know, I don't have these uh, columns anymore. If you look at the data now, um, it is far less uh, columns than before. So if you're, if you're um, calling SQLite databases from an application like, like C or Python or, or whatever, uh, you can use this feature if you wish to always edit your SQLite uh, views because you don't have this create or replace or create or alter view uh, feature. What you can do is like have drop and then create again and then every time, um, you know, change something in your view to generate your views. And the main thing about views is to remember that they're just saved queries, that they don't cost you anything because they don't save any data, they don't hold any data, that data is still held in the tables, the views just uh, save the definition, i.e. the SQL code, to generate that data on the fly every time you call the view.